am back with part two of Sephora's VIB sale, which if you don't know, it was 20% off um, a few days ago, and I just went crazy. I did a lot of Christmas shopping. I actually just planned to do my shopping in the store, but I've already uploaded that video of my in-store experience the first time around. I will link that below. That's part one of this haul. And then, um, I really wanted something specific, so I got online. It was the Laura Mercier Artist Palette. I got online, and it was out of stock online. But while I was online, I ordered some more stuff. So, my online order has not came in yet. I'm sure it was crazy because this sale, like, put the Sephora website even down for a little bit. I mean, it was crazy. So much stuff was out of stock and at restocked and everything. So I haven't got my online order yet. So there will be a part three of this haul, believe it or not. But one of the girls at my local Sephora called me and said that they got the artist palette by Laura Mercier. They got it in their Friday night shipment. So I rushed up to the mall on Saturday and picked up the artist palette. So while I was there, of course, I picked up a few more things. One of them is a Christmas gift. And then um, I also went to the Chanel counter and got one thing. So that is what this haul is about after explaining all of that. Part three will be up as soon as I get my online order in the mail. So let me know in the comments below if y'all got anything from the sale because it was an awesome deal. Now, I have heard that Sephora does a special in December where it's $20 off a $50 purchase. So, if you're interested in that, just, you know, sign up for the Sephora website and you'll get emails and all of that. But anyways, I'm just going to get started. So, the first thing, this is all I really wanted from this sale was the Laura Mercier Artist Palette. And it's what I'm wearing on my lids today. Actually, if y'all want to see a getting ready with me or something like that with this, let me know. But here's the palette and it is stunning. Like, these colors are amazing. So, there is a variety of matte and shimmer colors. I'll just swatch Fresco, Truffle, Plum Smoke. I have all three of these on today. And, um, I love Fresco for like a transition shade. And I will let y'all see. These are so buttery and amazing. Like, this palette, it's amazing. I was not big into makeup at this time last year, so I didn't get to see the Artist 1 palette, but this is the Artist 2 by Laura Mercier, and her shadows are so, so, so creamy. I have never had a palette by her, and I'm excited. As a matter of fact, I got another Laura Mercier product while I was there, and it was her lipsticks. Now, I have never tried her lipsticks either. This is the Lux Stick Gloss Collection. It says it's a $100 value, and no, it says it was an $88 value, and I got it for $48. I think this actual, like, kit is limited edition for the holidays, but I'm pretty sure that the lipsticks in it are in the permanent line. And I actually have on my lips right now one of these. This is in Peony. Oh my heavens. Perfect fall color. Absolutely love this lipstick. Let me swatch this one. That is Peony. These are very, very... um moisturizing and I don't actually have a gloss on over it and I don't feel like I need one. It feels so good on my lips. So I'm highly impressed with that. And this, this whole, all four of these lipsticks are more of like neutral colors. So this next one is called Brown Sugar and it's very, very, very pretty. It's a brown nude, which I generally don't do. So this might go to my sister, but my goodness, it's so pretty. There it is right there. That is brown sugar. Love that one. And then the next one is, and I'm not sure if these are full size because they seem smaller than a lot of my lipsticks, but her lipsticks might just be smaller. So this is in Cortisane. I might be saying that wrong, but oh, this one is so pretty. It just, for me, it looks just like a beautiful mauve with a little bit of 
glossiness to it. And this of, of the whole bunch is the sheerest one. But these just feel so good. So there is that one. If I can get it to focus. And then the very last one, and this peony was my favorite one out of the bunch. And then this is the second, and it's called Baby Lips. And it is so beautiful, okay? It's like a more mauve nude. When you're looking at them in the tube, they really kind of all look the same. But when you swatch them, there is definitely a difference. So Baby Lips is the very bottom one. So these are the four that came in that package. Like I said, it was $48. And then, of course, it was 20% off of that. I just spit. I'm so sorry, y'all. Okay, and then, um, while I was there, okay, this kind of has a story behind it, but I have been wanting to try the Josie Moran Argan Oil Light. I love the original Argan Oil for a nighttime moisturizer, but I wanted to try the light for a daytime moisturizer. So, I can't remember. I think it's like $28 for the full bottle. But um, this kit actually had a small size that I could sample. So, I got that. It says it's a $58 value. It's called the Morocco Holiday Lights and Brights. And I'm going to open this up because another thing I really wanted to try in here, I'm not going to be able to explain. I'm just going to have to swatch it for y'all. So, so, it came with this little Josie Moran Argan Oil Light. And this is just like the sample size. So it's 15 milliliters. But actually the sample size of the original Argan Oil lasted me a few months of using it every single night. And then it came with this Hydration and Shine Argan High Gloss Lip Quench. It's in a really pretty color. It's called Pink Honey. Oh, so there is that in the middle. That is pink honey. Yes. Now this is kind of interesting. It says it is called an antioxidant protection conditions cuticles ultra hydrating ultra hydrating multitasking balm for skin, hair, anywhere. See it right there? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe to use it as a cream blush. Let me know if y'all have this or what it's supposed to be used for. I'm sure it says somewhere on the box. And then the very last thing is really what won me over because I love liquid highlights and this one is the Argan Illuminizer. So, oh my gosh. Of course. Okay. And from swatching in the store, you literally only need a teeny tiny pump. So, there it is right there and I'm just going to show you. Hopefully you can see because the lighting's horrible. It's so light. But there it is right there just as a liquid illuminator. And I have not used any of that yet, but I'm super excited about all that. And then, okay, and I think that kit was $28 plus the 20% off. So I thought it was a fabulous deal. Then I got my husband for Christmas this YSL um, La Home, I guess, is the, the cologne. And then I got... Um, the NARS blush in Lovejoy. I heard someone rave about this. It was Natalie from Flower Bomb 31 and she has kind of a light fair complexion like me and she says that this is like one of the best blushes ever and it's not really talked about on YouTube a lot. So there's the color. I have not used it. It kind of reminds me of Madly but um, let me swatch it. There it is right there. My swatches are going all down my arm like a crazy woman, but that's okay. I have a lot of stuff to swatch. And so I picked that up and then I have heard so much hype about this product. I was like, all right, I'm gonna have to give it a go. It is the Gimme Brow by Benefit and I got the color Light Medium. So I've used this a few times and while I will not use it as my everyday brow product, what I love this for is to stick in my bag because am I the only person in the world that completely forgets to do their brows sometimes? Like, I'll be running out the door or be in a hurry and I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, my eyebrows look horrible. So, this Give Me Brow is perfect just to have in your purse in case you forget or if you're in a hurry or if you're just not wearing any makeup and you just want your brows to look good. 
this is a great product for that. I don't want, I don't think I would use it every day in replace of my brow pencil, but I do like it for the purpose I just mentioned. So, whoo! All of that being said, that is what I got in store the second time at the Sephora VIB sale. And while I was out, I figured I would stop at the Chanel counter. Yes, I'm crazy like that. We did all of our Christmas shopping this past weekend. So, um, you know, it was, it was just, I don't know. We were all over the place. Anyways, I finally picked up the Chanel Soleil de Ch Tan, no, the Soleil tan de chanel i'm not sure if that's exactly how you say it but it says it's a bronzing makeup base and i'm sure everyone's heard about this first of all i always swatch it while i'm at the chanel counter and it's in this little bitty tube it reminds me of like a paint pot like it's that small so i thought it was 45 dollars for that and i was like girl you are crazy you can get that at target by sonia kashuk right the cream bronzer love that thing but she showed me and look how big it is. Like, I can't even explain. It's almost as big. It's bigger than the palm of my hand. It's huge. And um, she actually put it on me. I did it I did it today and I really like it. It is different than the Sonia Kashuk one. It is a lot lighter and I feel like it's more natural looking and it is easier to blend than the Sonia Kashuk one. So I'm just gonna show y'all the actual product now I've used it already I used it today but it is huge like I can't look at it beside my face y'all seriously so I did pick up that and I have been really 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 loving it so far um I feel like this product will last years literally so that is all I got for this haul and as soon as I get my online order okay let me just be real with y'all I made two online orders because I forgot something in, like I said, a lot of it is gifts, but I forgot something in my first one, so I made a second one. Long story short, as soon as I get my online order, I will um, definitely make a part three of this video, and um, let me know in the comments below, like I said, what y'all got, and if y'all want to see reviews or demos or anything with any of these products, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye! percent off and I actually went to the store of course the IB sale it was um 24 oh my goodness I am back with um part two of support oh my god god I can never get anything out split ends it smooths fine lines um all of this stuff okay so I don't know but here it is right here. I don't know how you would use that on your cuticles because it's tinted, but whatever. I'll swatch it. She showed me and look. Oh my goodness. 